The father of this little girl abandoned her and ran away because life was really difficult for him. He didn't even have money to pay his house rent and he left her to her own fate. Hi, my name is Esther. My father abandoned me and my sister since June and ran away. Since that time we have been sleeping on the road. We begged to survive and we used to sleep sometimes if we did not see for day to go. We used to sleep on inside the PS cross. My father left us to our feet. You said your father abandoned you and your sister and ran away? Yes, it's, it's because my dad did not have money, money for the house. What happened? Our, our landlord came and said my dad, and told my dad that the money I did have gone to do, that we pay us for another money. That day we went to school and before we, before we came back, and our father had packed all his belongings. I did not see him again. Wow, are you serious? Yes. You mean the landlord told you people that your rent has expired and people should pay? Yes. Because your daddy did not have money. When you went to school, he took every property in the house and ran away. Yes. Up to night, I have not seen him. Yes. So, how did you survive? How have you been living since then? Since that time, we are begging for money and we are sleeping in the church. And 21 days or 7 days, sometimes we do not even see church to sleep. We are sleeping under our clothes. What do you mean 21 days or 7 days? The church, the church that, if you see church that they are doing feeding, we will go there, we will go and sleep. Okay, what she means is that if she sees a church that is doing a program, like a night video for 21 days, her and her sister will be going there to pass the night or go there like people are coming to attend the church program. But what they're actually going there to do is to pass the night there. So, people beg to survive. Yes, we beg to survive. And we used to sleep sometimes if we did not see Fiji to go. We used to sleep uh, inside the QS cross. Jesus Christ. I can't imagine all the dangers this girl and her sister were exposed to. Why is your sister not here right now? She is in hospital because she needs a way to know where we are. Where we are going in the house. When people were running about, what happened to your sister? Where did she put her leg? The side gutter. Where we from? She mistakenly put her leg in gutter. Yes. Then she had something cut her. No, the leg swelled up. Oh, I think that why they were roaming around the streets. The sister, miss, she put, she stepped, she put her leg inside gutter, and I think the leg got infected by something. She didn't have any cuts, but she noticed it after some days, right? Yeah. What of your mom? Your mom? My mom has died since we are small. Wow. What does your daddy do for a living? Farmer. My daddy is a farmer. And he used to cut grass. I do his only children. Yes. How old are you? I'm 18 years. No, you don't look 18 years old. Are you sure of your age? Yes. Of your sister, how old is she? 19 years. Are you really sure you are 18 years old? Yes, I was born on August 27, 2005. And my sister was born uh, April 22, 2004. Wow. For those of you who didn't understand what she said, she said that she and her sister were living with the father. Unfortunately, their rent got expired and the father did not have the money to pay. And when they went to school, before they came back from school, the father ran away and left them to their fate. They started sleeping in churches. They will look for a church that is doing program, like 21 days night vigil, and they will go to the church pretending to be... Um, people that want to attend church but what they are really going there to do is to sleep and maybe have their bath then in the daytime they'll go about roaming the street begging so while they were roaming the street it rained that night and the sister fell into a gutter but it didn't seem like anything happened because she came out from the gutter she it all appeared that she was fine but later on her leg started to swell and it was later on that they discovered that the sister's leg they infected. In fact, I sent the picture to me. And when I saw this picture, the brothers and sisters, that leg has really gone really, really bad. With the way I'm seeing it, I'm suspecting that the doctor might ask them to amputate it or something because that leg has really gone infected. 
there were holes everywhere in the lake this is what is going on in the country nigeria and um social welfare is not doing so much for people like this it's so sad that they had to get to this point before they were able to see someone that took them to an orphanage home where they are currently staying so are you going to school right now yes I'm yeah in ss1 yes. what would you like to be in the future You want to become a caterer? Yeah. <laughs> so if you see anybody who wants to teach you catering, will you be happy? Yes. Brothers and sisters, this is the reality of life. I'm still here traveling from state to state telling the stories of underrepresented people. So people will become aware of what is really going on in the society and the government will be able to make better decisions in the future. If you have a story you would like me to cover, send me an email or send a web message to a WhatsApp message to Love Foundation.